Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix DirectX function error. It may be DXGI error device removed or DXGI error device hung or access denied. So if you're receiving DirectX error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can launch the game. If that does not work, rename FC setup file or settings file settings folder now for this you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder over here ea sports fc 26 open this folder here you can see fc setup now when you rename this file you will lose all the saved settings save settings will be gone make a right click and then you can rename it you can also rename this settings folder, make a right click, rename it. Also rename this FC setup. Now relaunch the game and then check. Still not working, rename the save game file, rename the complete FC26 folder. Create a backup first because you will lose all the save game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. Now for this, uh, go to the same location, this one, and then you can copy create a backup so copy this folder and create a backup once you have a backup created over here now you can make a right click on the game folder over here and then rename it now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to enable or disable disable steam overlay so you can go to steam uh, I don't have the game on Steam. I, ha I have the game on eApp, so I, ha I have added the game from eApp to Steam. So go to Steam and then click on Settings and sorry, make a right click on the game FC26 and then go to Properties and go to the General tab. In my case, I don't have the game over here, so I'll show you a different game. So make a right click on the game, select Properties and then turn off the option which says Enable the Steam Overlay while in game. So if this is on, turn it off, launch the game. If it is already off, then you can turn it on and then check. Check which one is working fine for you. Close other overlay application. Like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay and close Discord. If you have NVIDIA app running, you can go to NVIDIA app settings and turn off overlay and close NVIDIA app. Try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on FC26, go to properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work. Try dash DX12, launch the game and then check. Still not working, remove this. And then for eApp users, you can go to manage over here and then view properties in advanced launch option, type in dash DX11, click on save, launch the game and then check if that does not work, type in dash DX12, save it, launch the game and then check. Still not working, remove this, save it, follow the next step. Now the next step is to Make changes in the exploit protection for the game exe file. So type in exploit protection over here and then go to program settings over here. Then click on add a program to customize, choose exact file path and then go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, select the game exe file and then click on open. Once you add it, now we can see FC26 exe. You have to put a check on override system settings. It, by default, these would be off. So you have to Put a check and then if this is on, turn it off. So for this also, so put a check on each option and then turn off the option. So control flow off. If this is on, turn it off. Put a check over here and then if this is on, turn it off. So put a check on all the option. Put a check on override system settings. And once you turn every option off, now you can hit apply click on yes and then launch the game and then check if you face any problem you can remove this this will go to default now the next step is to perform clean installation of a graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia select your graphic card select your operating system and then click on find now on this page you will see the latest graphic card driver at the top so geforce game ready driver whichever is the latest click on view and then you can click on download 
and run the exe file once you run the exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok click on agree and continue select custom option over here click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next once this is complete restarting build and then you can launch the game still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings over here click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here click on the game and select your graphic card select high performance you will see your graphic card now launch the game still not working now desktop users connect the display cable or hdmi cable to the dedicated graphic card slot and then check next step is to roll back graphics card driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working so once you select your graphic card operating system on this page you can click on view more versions and maybe you can try 581.15 or maybe 581.08 click on view download it once you download it run the exe file and when you go for installation make sure you select custom option and then put it on the box which says perform a clean installation and then once that is done restart it computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to run the game on uh, like if you have dual graphic card you can disable the integrated graphic card make a right click on the start menu go to device manager expand display adapter over here so here you can see this is the inbuilt one the intel one so you can make a right click and then you can click on disable device and then launch the game and then check if that does not work you can make a right click again and then enable it next step is to switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings so launch the game if you are able to go to settings go to settings now once you launch the game uh, you can go to settings top left click on the gear icon and then you can go to settings and then go to game settings and then go to display option at the top here you can see display go to display now if this is set to full screen you can try window mode and once you select window mode hit apply confirm and then now you can try vsync on and off you can try both and then you can go to graphics over here if this is set to ultra and you can set it to high you can even go for medium uh, quality and yeah or you can even try auto so i will just set it to medium and then hit apply and then you can check now the next step is to install directx now for this you can open this link in a browser click on download run this exe file the link is provided in the video description click on yes to allow and then click on accept over here click on next uncheck install bing bar next and let the installation complete once this is complete you will see finish option click on finish and then restart the computer and then you can check still not working uh, the next step is to in install media feature pack so if you have windows like windows 11 n edition or windows 10 n edition so if you have n version of windows you can install media feature pack you can visit this link uh, you can go through this uh, and install media feature pack or you can visit this link and then you can if you have the game on like if you have windows 10 you can select the version install media feature pack or you can type in turn windows feature on or off over here in windows search box click on turn windows feature on or off and find media feature make sure media feature is checked over here if not check put a check over here install it and then restart your computer and then you can check you can even open windows settings go to system and then scroll down click on optional features if you have windows n edition then click on view feature over here click on yes to allow and then you can type in media feature pack over here if you find media feature pack i i have windows 11 home edition i don't have n version of windows so you might see media feature feature pack over here put a check on media feature pack install it and then restart your computer and then check next step is to try debug mode in nvidia control panel so make a right click on the uh, desktop show more option and then click on nvidia control panel now once nvidia control panel is open uh, you can go to manage 3d settings and then sorry not the manage 3d go to help option at the top left help and then select debug mode 
So make sure debug mode is checked and then launch the game and then check. If that does not work, uh, you can try power saver mode. Now to for power saver mode, type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, hardware and sound, click on power options. Now in my case, it's only balanced. If you see power saver option like this, you can select power saver, launch the game and then check. You can even go for balanced or high performance, but first of all, try power saver and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to turn on or turn off hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings over here. And then click on advanced graphics settings over here. And if hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, then turn it on and then check. If it is already on, turn it off and then check. Check which one is working fine for you. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to restore settings in nvidia control panel so go to nvidia control panel go to manage 3d settings and then global settings and over here you will see restore option click on restore click on yes and once the restore is done at the bottom right you will see apply option hit apply once this is done now you can launch the game and then check still not working update windows this is important do not ignore this go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update make sure that your windows is up to date and then rest one once update is installed restart the computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to repair update or uninstall and reinstall easy and uh, sorry e anti cheat now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to ea website on this website scroll down here you can see ea javelin anti cheat installer click on it and then you can run this exe file Now run this exe file, click on yes to allow. And then from the drop down option, select install FC 26 over here and then click on repair. Click on OK and you have to select the game folder. So select the complete EA Sports game folder, go to the game installation folder and then select the game folder, select folder. And once the repair is done, now you can you have to relaunch the game. So once the install is success over here, launch the game uh, then check if that does not work update it so make sure fc26 is selected over here then click on update and once the update is success over here uh, during this update the ea anti-cheat uh, installer may restart and then you will see update success once that is done now you have to relaunch the game and then check still not working again select fc26 click on uninstall once the uninstall is done click on install and once the install is success, once the install is success, now relaunch the game and then check. Still not working, uninstall it. This time, do not install. You can close this, launch the game. When you launch the game, during the launch, it will install e anti cheat. Click on yes to allow. And now it will install EA anti cheat and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, and then select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, manage browse local files. Uh, if you have the game on e app then in that case you can make a right click and uh, click on manage and then click on view properties and then click on open folder and let me close the game for now now make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working make a right click go to properties this time select windows 8 hit apply click on ok you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working then you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply hit apply click on ok and then you can use this e anti cheat game service launcher make a right click click on run as administrator and launch the game now still not working the next step is to 
if you are using any third party antivirus like a vast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you are using allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you are using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security windows security and then click on virus and threat protection click on virus and threat protection and then click on manage ransomware protection click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browser apps and then go to the game installation folder select the game exe file add all the exe file open installer e and cheat add this once everything is added now you can launch the game still not working the next step is to repair or verify the game files now for this you can go to steam just ignore this because i closed the game in middle go to manage and then click on repair if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game and then go to properties you will see install files tab in my case i have i'll show you a different game properties install file tabs and then click on verify integrative game files once this is complete launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file this is important so open this thing in a browser it will take you to microsoft website you have to download this x86 and x64 download both the file click on it and then run this exe file download this x64 file as well and run both the exe file You have to install both the files. Uh, once you run this exe file, you will see a repair option or maybe install option. So click on it. If you see repair, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Run this exe file as well. And once both are installed, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer if you are using vpn you can turn it off if you are not using you try both on and off and then check disable overlay uh, which we have already done close all the overlay application like discord and video apps set do not overclock if you have overclocked set it to default close all the overclocking application like msi afterburner riva tuner and then launch the game try disconnect multiple monitor so if you have multiple monitor setup then try launching the game on single monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you are undervolted you can put a remove the undervolt and then launch the game now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing nothing is working you can uninstall the game and then reinstall the game to c drive or another ssd and then check and lower down your monitor refresh uh, lower down monitor refresh rate so like if your monitor refresh rate is like 240 hertz you can maybe uh lower down to 120 hertz and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel